beautiful day. Thursday. May, I don't know. May 8 or whatever. Anyway, I took a seizure last night. I was walking the dog on Union Street and uh, let's say you know I sat down I said I had this funny feeling let's say you know I was in the uh, ambulance on my way to the hospital just came out said I mean uh, these seizures only seem to come when I'm under stress Right, the, uh, the cops and the justice system. Anyway, never mind. I don't want to talk about it. Me, me, me. What I like to say. And when I arrived there, the staff. Oh my God. Again, staff. The public relations staff is so important to make New Brunswickers or anybody welcome at the hospital. You go there, you see. You see, I know, I see an old woman, the pump in her mouth and sideway and the paramedic were carrying her and then she was followed by about five, six family members, all concerned and they're all looking around and they've never been there before. And, uh, you know, I mean, we have to start looking at the issue of the hospital and healthcare. We have to. Never mind these bureaucrats making all kinds of money for their pension. You know, I mean, it, it, we're all going to appear in front of the same God. Okay? Don't matter if you're a junkie on the street or a bureaucrat with their with a pump in their mouth, their eyes roll over, that uh, their, uh, their eyes roll over and they got 15 minutes to live or to face their maker. So hats off goes the first responders at the Dr. Turbot House Hospital. I mean Everett Everett Hospital there. You know, can, can you imagine when they had the, the shooting, the two cops and the two civilians rushing there? But this is one case. This is one case. All right, everybody knows about the shooting. There's other shootings that are, happens all the time. They have to go through the same thing. So the bottom line of this uh, rant, hats off to healthcare workers at the Dr. Everett Hospital.